So the holidays are here and I am so excited. That was pretty fast. I remember this time last year, I was pregnant with my daughter Cairo and now she's here and now the holidays are here, which means lots of gifts under the Christmas tree and lots of wrapping to be done, which happens to be my favorite thing during the holidays. I love making my own wrapping paper. It's Favorite Things Week on The Holidays with Ken and all of the channels will be sharing with you their favorite things during the holidays. And if you wanna check out those ideas, make sure you click the playlist below. But for now, I'm gonna show you three different ways on how to DIY your wrapping paper. Happy holidays! <laughs> So first up, I'm gonna show you how I make my own Christmas tree wrapping paper with cookie cutter stamps. What I have in front of me is some wrapping paper, but you guys, this is incredibly cheap. I'm telling you, sometimes wrapping paper can get really, really expensive, and then you have loads of it left over. Wrapping paper everywhere. But this is really cool because you can get this at any craft store or a shipping and delivery store. I'm gonna be using cookie cutters and you can use whatever cookie cutter you want. This is a reindeer right here. This is a cute little snowman. What I'm gonna be using today is this cute Christmas tree. I've just poured some paint into this paper plate and I'm just going to dip my cookie cutter into the paint like so and then I'm just going to place it onto my wrapping paper. And then I'm just gonna press it down lightly, just like that. And we have cute Christmas trees. See how easy that was? I think the kids would love doing this with their parents. You can't have a Christmas tree without ornaments, so this is Tia Mori's Quick Fix. I have a little trick for you. I am just going to use the back of this eraser on a pencil. I'm just gonna take the end of my eraser, and then make cute little ornaments. Oh, voila! <laughs> this is so cool. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And you're saving money. How cool is that? The color red and the color green, it just always reminds me of Christmas. Can't you tell I just absolutely love the holidays? I just shot two Christmas movies, not one, two Christmas movies back to back. One is for Lifetime and it's coming out soon and another one is for Hallmark and that's coming out soon too. But in every shot, every frame, there's a Christmas tree. And the joke on the set was, we thought that there was like someone like hiding up under that Christmas tree because every second when we would turn our heads, the Christmas tree would be in a different area. <laughs> kind of like now, <laughs> there's a Christmas tree. Christmas trees are following me throughout this season and now I'm making Christmas tree wrapping paper. Yay! Once you get all of your ornaments on your tree, this is what it looks like. And again, you can use any stamp, any colors, and just have loads of fun making your own wrapping paper. Another way I personalize my wrapping during the holidays is by making my own gift tags. As you can see, these are cute little letters that I've made and it spells out Cairo, my daughter's name, and actually I've made them out of salt dough and I'm gonna show you just how I do that. I've just rolled it out and I've put it on some parchment paper so it doesn't stick and I'm just gonna take a cookie cutter and this is really cute because it's like a little light bulb. And I'm just going to press it down just like that. And we have a cute little light bulb. See how cute that is? So I'm just gonna place it on to this baking sheet. I have a star here and I have an angel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this straw and I'm going to poke a hole right there because when they're done, I'm gonna hang them on a string. So now I'm gonna put this in the oven at 250 degrees for two to three hours so that they dry out. Once they're done baking, it will be hard like this and you can decorate them, you can paint them with just regular paint, you can spray paint them, you can put glitter on them like this. And also I can put my son's name on there, Cree, or my daughter's name or my husband's name. So these are like perfect, cute little gift tags. And they also can be used as ornaments that will last you forever. 
So we've covered wrapping paper, gift tags. Now I'm gonna show you how I personalize my ribbon. Actually guys, I have a little secret for you. It's not really ribbon, it's washi tape. <laughs> I don't know about you, but when I'm working with ribbon, I just feel like it just ends up all over the place, right? You don't know how short or how long it should be. It never stays in its place. It's just a big mess. So what's so cool about washi tape is it comes in different colors, different patterns. It's like really, really cool. We have these cute little polka dots here. This looks like green candy cane. And these have like really cool stars. So you can get like really, really creative. And the best thing about it is it stays in place, but not only that, you can remove it and you won't mess up your wrapping paper. This is the back of my gift. And I'm just going to just kind of place it down like that. Wrapping gifts is like definitely a tradition in my house during the holidays. My sister will come over, my brothers will come over, and we just listen to music, like Christmas music. We eat pie, we have cookies and milk. It's lots of fun. It's so like not messy either. Already looking fun and festive. So you can get washi tape at any craft store. See, look, it's not centered. Oops, but guess what? Oh, I can start over. <laughs> and to add that extra personal touch, I like to add some fresh herbs, and this is rosemary. Oh, it smells so good. Just kind of place my rosemary, just like right there. There we go. So this is a great alternative to using regular ribbon. It's fun, it's festive, and it's easy. I hope you guys try out these ideas and let me know in the comments below how you personalize your wrapping. And be sure to check out the Holidays with Kin playlist in the description below to see everybody's favorite things. And don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week. Happy Holidays!